We're now going to take a look at making a directory structure for our website. Traditionally in a website folder, we usually only have the index page visible and then everything else contained within folders. The folders that are usually created include a media folder, a pages folder, a scripts folder and a notes folder. So what we'll do first is create these folders. So I'm going to go new folder and I'll make my media folder. And into my media folder, I'll put my banner. I'll next create a pages folder. And that's where I'm going to put all the sub pages of my website. And then I'll do a scripts folder. And that's where I'm going to put my style sheet. I'll also create my notes folder now too. It's usually an underscore notes for any information I may need to create relating to my website. Now, I've put everything into folders, but I'm going to see one big glaring issue. Now, I'm going to open up my site with Chrome. And as you can see, my site's stuffed up. What's actually happened is it stopped referencing my style sheet because my style sheet has moved. So the first thing I need to fix up are some of the links I've made between my style sheet as well as my HTML. So let's open up my index.html. And we'll have Chrome still open on the right. And in here where I've referenced my style sheet, I now need to let it know that it's within the scripts folder. So where it says style CSS, I'm now going to write scripts slash style.css. Let's save it. And suddenly, my style's back. It's found my style sheet. But if I still look once again, my image isn't appearing anymore. That's because the style sheet has moved now to a different location that the image is in. The image is in the media folder and the style sheet being in the scripts folder. So, let's close my HTML file. And go into my scripts folder. And open my style sheet. And what I've got to do now is where I was referencing the image in my actual banner, I now need to firstly make it go up a folder. In order to make it go up a folder, I need to go dot dot. And that takes it back to the main folder. The second thing I need to do is say that the banner image is actually in the media folder. So I'm actually mapping out the file part so it can get to the banner. So it's going to go dot dot first to take it back up to the main level of my directory structure. Then go into the media folder and that's where you'll find our banner. Let's save it and reload. And now my banner is being referenced once again. So when you move things around within your directory structure, you need to be aware that you've got to then relocate some of your resources. Best thing to do is have it ready in your mind that you know where things are going to be. So if I was now to start creating my sub pages, if I go back to my HTML document, you would actually see that when I'm actually putting in my actual sub pages, sub page one, sub page two, and sub page three, although they don't exist yet, I've already written that they're going to be within the pages folder. So I hope that all makes sense to you about how we can set up a directory structure and then how we link our different documents, including our pages, sub pages, scripts, and media all together. Okay, and the correct syntax to do so. So give it a try.